Facebook. <laughs> Always. It's not stopping my Facebook. I'm eating the whole thing in one bite. I could do that also. Our first stop is cookies and milk. Important. <laughs> So we just drove up to Branson to do a little fly fishing. It got a little cooler, but it's still pretty nice out here. And just having a relaxing day on the river, hanging out with my brother. It's nice to go for a drive and catch up. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> Drew fishes a lot all over the place, um, and I'm not much of a fly fisher except for when I'm with him. I go. And it's really fun. We used to go fishing a lot together when we were kids. It was a very, very relaxing and peaceful thing to do, fly fishing. Oh, you got one. One little guy. Is that a different kind than I got? No, he's just dark and ugly. <laughs> he's all stubby. Bless his little he's heart. Like straight up hatchery trout. I mean, they're all hatchery trout here mostly, but not a pretty one. Aww. That's okay. I'm still happy. <laughs> I think things like this are so pretty. All moss. Yeah, it's so soft. Fly fishing is an art that I certainly don't have down, but like you have to know what to use, where to go. There's a lot to it. Fish all day in here. I like how you have all your stickers. Oh, this is where all the people were. Yeah, they're the base of it, right here. You can't fish up here. Um, in the fall, all the brown trout in this river will jump up here to spawn. Oh my gosh. And it'll be so thick in here that like, you can scoop a net in and scoop out 50 fish at once. Wow. So the couple fish in here right now, they usually will hold in the edge over there where it's softer water. You'll see them trying to jump up into the tube. Ah. It's pretty cool. Um, and you'll see them occasionally down here. Really big rainbow trout right there on bottom. I, I see, can... yeah, I can see it. Man, that's a big fish. Yeah, he's big. That's crazy. They jump. He jumped up here. He made his way up up this whole waterfall down all, all the all wow. the rocks and everything. Can y'all see that right there? Do you see that? That's a fish. That dark shadow that I'm pointing yeah, he, at. He's probably about five pounds. You know, he's probably about 23 inches and pretty pretty fat. Wow. That fish came all the way up this waterfall because that's a hatchery overflow that comes out of, there's a hatchery right up here. Yeah, it's neat. <laughs> that is crazy. You go fish, you go little rainbow fish. That's nuts, that fish got up this? Yeah, all the way up this stuff. I'm very impressed with that fish. You all see him right there? He's super fish. That's really neat looking. I wonder what used to be there that that grew around. Conditions haven't been super great today, so we only caught a handful of fish and they were pretty small. Of course, Drew would probably be able to do a lot more if he didn't have me with him. I'm sure I'm slowing him down some. I'm just so excited to be here. I caught, I caught one and I was excited to get that. Uh, you know, whenever you're used to having so much to do, just coming out and not having to make any decisions, um, it's very, very nice. We're gonna fish one more spot and then we're gonna drive through Branson and head back down to uh, Northwest Arkansas. Okay, there's a fish. See him? Pretty, oh, there's a bunch. All right, watch this step through there. 
favorite diving. He's got a good pink stripe. And cheeks too. Oh, he's strong. Come on. Come on. There he is. Yeah, look. Look at those pink cheeks. Oh, he's pretty. Okay, so Drew kisses all his fish. So do I have to give this one a kiss? He's good. You know what's good for you. <laughs> Drew is a catch and release fisher, so when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Fish kiss. Kiss and release. Kiss and release. <laughs> well, I kissed a good one. Now we're calling it quits. That was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's like a fishing in a barrel. <laughs> earlier is like actually fishing. You know? <laughs> but I mean when the water's this high there's not much you I can mean, do. Everything in the south is in flood stages right now so it's one of those beggars can't be choosers. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously I'm home. Um, my babies are playing duck duck goose on the trampoline and I just thought it was really precious. You know, I know that we're sharing our life with you on this vlog. This has just become a little bit of a photo album for me. Stuff like trips to my brother, those footage clips are gonna be precious. Like, that is just absolutely precious to me. And even now, if you go back and watch our videos from this time last year, my babies have changed so much. So, I like to share little stuff like that. Now here's something cool. This came in the mail while I was gone. Um, this magazine is locally published here in Arkansas. And I have been writing in it for about five years now. Some of you already know this, but I actually had a uh, viral blog post like five years ago. And um, in that, the editor of this magazine out of Fort Smith contacted me and said, hey, I found your blog through this viral post and I've been reading your writing and I really love it and I would love to publish you. And so I have been contributing in this magazine monthly since then. Um, I link this in all of my videos as well as my blog, which I haven't written on in years. It, I do have the plans of creating a new blog for Roots and Refuge at some point, you know, whenever I can find the spare time. But if you do enjoy reading um, essays and articles and stuff, the link is always down below for this. It's a really good magazine. Um, there are some other writers in here that I really enjoy reading and you can read all of this free online. This particular article is kind of about my journey with photography. Um, and you can see some of the photos that I've taken of my babies here. But talking about the process of becoming a photographer and kind of just my love for that. So check that out if you want to read it. I had such a good time at Drew's. I feel so refreshed. Um, just so much better all over. It's just huge what taking a day of rest and just not having to make a bunch of decisions, stuff like that, and what that'll do for you mentally. I get asked a lot, how do you do all of it? And uh, admittedly, I have an incredibly busy life and I, I have a lot of help. You know, Jeremiah and I uh, are partners in our life and we do a lot of this stuff together, but taking time off is imperative. So I just wanted to show you guys the greenhouse that I came home to. Look at this. Look. My strawberries have opened up blossoms. And I just repotted some of these tomatoes. Some of them I'm gonna have to add some more soil to because they got a little leggy when I had to bring them in the house and they didn't have a lot of direct light. 
Some of them desperately need to be separated. I actually spent the last few hours separating out plants because look at this. I had a lot looking like this. But a lot have grown so much. Look at my little dwarf plants. And up here. Isn't that nuts? They look so good. Just a few days and some of these things have like quadrupled in size. I don't have a total count yet. Um, I'm waiting until I finish with all the repotting because I'm not keeping every single sprout. I don't have enough space to. But I think that it's safe to say that there are over 1,500 tomato plants currently in this greenhouse. That's a lot. I'm getting pretty close to running out of these pots from the bootstrap farmer. Once I get done separating the tomatoes, I'll be out. And I had 1,600 of those. We actually drove home from the Deep South Homestead gathering and got home around 2 a.m. And then I got up at seven after the time change and drove up to Fayetteville to spend time with my brother. Then when I got to Fayetteville, Drew was like, let's go fishing. And so we drove up to Missouri to go trout fishing. So in like less than a 24 hour period, it went all the way from South Mississippi up to Missouri. Um, totally worth it, but I am glad to be home. Are you glad I'm home, Charity? Totally indifferent. She'll be glad when I feed them tomorrow. The baby goats are getting so big. Don't eat my camera, Goofy. Don't eat my camera. Nestle, my little nibbler girl. Ma'am, look at her, she's looking large. I love how goats smile, they're so cute. Hey ladies, hey beautiful girls. Gretchen Wieners, the tiniest goat. I don't have food for you. They're a little freaked out by the camera. Oh, hey pretty girl. What are you doing, mister? As much as I love going to gatherings and going and taking some time for myself to recharge and rest, I love coming home. And having been gone for the last couple of days, my list is long, but we are coming into my absolute favorite time of year. Can you hear that? starting to sound like spring out here. It's starting to feel like spring out here. The Bradford pear and the daffodils are blooming, so it's starting to look like spring out here. The greenhouse is filling up with life. The garden is just about ready to go. And I am one happy farm girl. And you know what? I'm really excited to have you guys with me this year as we go through the anticipation and the preparation for the farm to just come into full swing of productivity. So much work, but it's so awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I bless you, until next time.